How's it going everybody? My name is Benjamin Anderson and in today's video we're going to be talking about how to improve your sync times in your AppSheet apps. Now this video is going to be kicking off a mini series where we talk about the four biggest culprits of that are slowing down your apps. In today's video we're going to be talking about two of them that are a little bit too small for their own video and in the others we'll be tackling the bigger ones individually. Now these are the four things that are going to be affecting your sync time the most. That's not to say other things can't, but these are going to be the four that you both, one, have the most control over and two, are going to affect it the most if you can improve them. Now the first, unsurprisingly, is data size and your data source. Makes sense that data is going to be the thing that slows down your app the most since AppSheet is built around your data entirely. Next we've got cross table expressions which can slow it down when you have to pull in a lot of data into other tables from other tables. And we'll get into that more in a separate video. For this video we'll be talking about the third and the fourth options. The good news is these of the four options we have here are slowing down your app the least. The bad news is there's also less you can do about them than there are the other two. So with that, let's get into what is causing the slowness and how you can help those situations. First, uploading images and files. Now, I want to specify that what's causing the issue is specifically just uploading these things. Displaying them isn't as much of an issue, especially for images, because when you are loading your app up or displaying the images, AppSheet is doing something called lazy loading, where it's loading the images as you need them instead of loading them in all at once. This is very helpful um, in the idea that it helps you use different parts of your app without having to wait for all of the images to load. The drawback is you have to wait sometimes for the image to load when you get to the page it's on, which can feel a little irritating, um, but the overall benefit is much better than the drawback of having to wait for all of the images every time, I promise you. Um, so now, what can we do to make that faster? Now, there's a few options, and the first one is just to upload fewer images. Now, this isn't always an option, but if it is, it's the one we recommend because it's going to help the most. If you can substitute in a description instead of um, uploading images, then that's going to help a lot. Now, if that is not an option, there are still things you can do to help both your perception of the load time and the load time itself. So we'll start by talking about uploading um, your information in the background. So when we switch over to the AppSheet app, um, I'll first let you know that I'm under the Behavior tab and in Offline Sync. And this is going to be um, where the setting is that we're going to be talking about. So the setting is Delayed Sync. Now what this does is once you press Save on a um, form, it's going to upload your information in the background. When this happens, you will see a little number up next to your sync button that tells you how many things are syncing in the background. And you'll know once that number disappears, all of your data has been synced. Now, technically this takes a little bit longer. Um, and if that's an issue, you're going to need to keep this off. But most of the time, allowing delayed sync isn't um, going to make enough of a difference uh, that you have to have it on. So being able to have your things sync in the background helps your perception of the speed of your syncs because you are going to be able to use, continue to use your app while your information is syncing. And this is incredibly helpful because you can go ahead and start working on a next, your next form while the other one's syncing, which helps you just feel like you're getting more done. Now, the next option, which is independent, of this one, whether or not you could use this one doesn't necessarily decide whether you can use our next setting. I went over to UX options and scrolled down to forms where we see this image upload size. Uh, 
Now, images and files take a long time to load because images and files are just a lot of data. It just They're just really big. So one thing we can do if we can't take out some of the pictures entirely, we can make sure we're uploading small image sizes. This is going to help us upload them quickly and it's actually going to help them load in faster as well. Now, again, if this isn't an option and you need the full image at its full specs, you're going to have to hit full and just deal with the slow sync times. I'm sorry, uh, but that's really all we can do. If this is an option though, it's surprising how helpful it is to go from default to low. Uh, it saves you a lot of time. Switching back to my presentation, next we're going to be talking about API calls. Now you might have noticed that I'm qualifying this by saying sometimes. This isn't always an issue. Sometimes your API calls, your webhooks are going to trigger, return quickly, and sync quickly. When they're not, what is the issue? What's going on? Basically, what's happening is AppSheet is waiting for a response before it finishes your sync. It wants to know that the API, API or the webhook you called actually completed or didn't complete so that it can let you know. So how can you speed this up? If you're using a third-party webhook, a third-party API, there's not a lot you can do. You can email them, ask, hey, why is this taking so long? But ultimately, that's all you can do. You just have to wait it out. If you do own um, your API, whatever's on the other side of your API, you can increase the efficiency of your code yourself. Um, do whatever you can to make your code as efficient as possible. Now, I won't be going over how to do this um, in this video. We um, personally at Crew have worked through this using Google scripts using Lambda functions, we've um, and had to increase the efficiency of our code. And if you have questions about that, feel free to throw them in the comments below. Now, if your code is as efficient as possible, the other option, which we don't usually recommend because it can make your code a little less safe, is to respond immediately. Now, this is unsafe because if your code fails, we're not going to be able to send back a 400 code or 404, whatever your error, error code is, if something goes wrong, because we've already spawned successfully to AppSheet so that AppSheet can continue. Um, and this introduces a lot of its own like idiosyncrasies and issues that it can cause. Um, but if this is your last option and you need it to sync faster, it is an option. Um, just one we recommend to be the last option whenever possible. Now, that's all we have for video for this video, and we really appreciate you watching. Um, if you have any comments, feel free to throw them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. At Crew Technologies, we love helping people get great value out of AppSheet. We do that through offering professional services and helpful content like this. To stay up to date, like and subscribe, and we're always trying to improve. So leave us your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.